I wanted to ask you a question as the head of OCHA. It's about South Sudan, but it's more programmatic about protection of aid workers. There's this case where uh, an aid worker in the protection of civilians camp in Bentiu alleges that she was raped while in the camp by another humanitarian worker. This has been reported in BuzzFeed, but it's getting a lot of coverage, and it basically leads to the question of what is the protection of the UN system offering to its own aid workers if, in fact, they are either the victims of sexual assault or other things. In this case, Basically, there was no OIOS investigation. They told the, the, the victim to contact the, the, the employer of the, of the alleged rapist. Do you, have you heard of the case? What do you think about the UN's own protection of its aid workers and what can be done to improve it? Uh, well, as it happens, I've just returned from South Sudan. I was in the Bentu camp only a few days ago. Um, I'll have to be completely uh, straight with you. The case was not raised with me. I'm not cited on the case, and therefore, I think it would be... Um, uh, wrong of me to speculate on that particular uh, case. On the other hand, my general principle is wherever such uh, issues arise, it is absolutely vital that a full, objective and unimpeded investigation should take place. And if uh, anybody has uh, committed a, uh, a wrong, then they should be held to account and, if, and where appropriate, they should be brought to book. Uh, but I think that uh, we must first act on the evidence, therefore there has to be an investigation. Uh, but I, I'm not cited on that particular case. Thank you. Just on, on what I asked you about yesterday, this, uh, the alleged rape in the Benchu camp in South Sudan, I just wanted to, without, I, and I appreciated that you add, that was added to the transcript, and it's not a gotcha question, the fact that the, the, the alleged victim was not a UN staff member but worked for an NGO funded by a UN mm -hmm. agency. Um, I just wanted to know, like, what's the significance of that? Does that mean that if, the, if, a, if an aid worker is, in fact, employed by a UN, the UN secretariat or an agency, an investigation I think, uh, would have been con I, I, conducted? I, I, I'm asking I, I, because no, no, I, 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 I understand why you're asking, okay. and, and it's, it's a legitimate question. Uh, whether a person is a staff member or is under contract for an NGO uh, working for, for an agency ha has uh, legal implications, mm -hmm. right, uh, as, as it would be normal. I think there is a, uh, there is a, a moral obligation on behalf of the system uh, to ensure that anyone who is in our camp, uh, in a UN, uh, it, let's start again. It, there is a moral obligation for anyone who is under uh, a UN camp, under UN protection, to be uh, to have the, the best possible protection. And obviously, we're looking into this case. And if I have more to to add, I will I will add it to but, you. But would the would would either <clears throat> the jurisdiction of OIOS or the, he, Mr. Ryan at the stakeout said that he believed that in any such case there should be a full inquiry. No, into I, the think, facts and I think I think I heard I, no no happened. I heard Mr. O'Brien. I think he also said that he was unaware sure. of, the, of of the details of, of the fact and was speaking as a matter of I, of, I of personal of not of, of of professional uh experience and we we share we share that. Uh, we share that opinion. Obviously, we're trying to look into uh, the details of, of this case. Um, and, you know, if, it, it, as I said, a sta staff member versus non-staff member has different uh, legal implications. And just to, I, just, I just wanted to, yeah. and maybe you'll answer this or you can just sort of take the questions. The idea is, is that had the victim in this case worked for, you know, OCHA or UNICEF or any agency, would there, in fact, have been any legal repercussions, or would they still have just been given? Or would, I, I, I can't speak to what would have okay. happened, but obviously, it is also the responsibility of the employer to look out for the well-being of sure. the uh, of the employee. Okay.